Get ready for the next battle. Enchantress. The Zai will try to catch Arteez. There's going to be the coil to lead. They're actually a little bit further away than I think they would like. Here comes the Centaur. And Arteez trying to get away. Oh, Zai there. It. Yep. Doesn't matter. They managed to bring down Arteez. Now Zai's going to be enchanted and dove under the tier Woo! one. Dindy's right there. Trying to use that Sandstorm to make it away. Dindy has an orb in three seconds. Let's see if he wants to go for it. Oh, yeah. He's diving tier two. He's ready to go. And the orb misses just barely. He's going to have to auto attack him down. Zai opts not to go high ground. And Dindy, one last auto attack's going to get it. Now, Kuro's there along with Puppy. Puppy using Nature's Attendance. PPD comes over, and the Seder gets in the mix, too. There's going to be another one drop. That time it's going to be Dindy, and a nightmare on to Puppy. Kuro trying to make it away. Universe there has Ravage. We'll use it from the high ground. Arteezy back up and blinking on top of Kuro to seal the deal. And Puppy is going to make it three as he's not getting away. Make that open. Uh, kind of hesitated. And PPD there to pop that smoke. Now there's going to be Zai engaging him in the burrow. There's going to be the Ravage to follow. Only got two, though. Actually, no, only got one. Now coming back in, the stolen burrow strike. And trying to turn this around. Phonic, though, throws out the Chronosphere, doing what damage he can. And now the epicenter is going to go off. That's going to do a fair amount of damage to Na'Vi, but it's one for one so far. Puck being exchanged for RTZ. PPD there to, to seal a mega kill streak with a double kill. And Funnick now next in trouble, hit with the gush from behind. Has the time walk up to the high ground, but Sai blinks the top of him. Doesn't have enough mana, though, for, uh, for a Burrow Strike to follow, but Kuro sure does. Coming back in, trying to bring down Universe. Doesn't matter. Universe with yeah, I agree. This is how they're going to get ahead. That's what they're going to do. Universe is there. Oh, Big Rab is going to come in and catch three. Kuro down immediately. Dindy next. Oh, he threw the orb and got caught. Funnick's there, but too late to save Dindy. PPD will end up dropping, but he got worked up with the bean script to begin with. Zai might chase and has blink up, and so does May. And Mason hits Puppy, and now the gush from behind. That plus Drunken Haze, enough to slow him down. Allow them to blow up some of these uh, team fight heroes that do have their ults off cooldown. But nope, there we go. Mason's going to go right in. And Kuro managed to still split, but he's going to zone them out just using the split. Kuro's going to be targeted down storm aspect, tosses a boast in the air. And this is what I was talking about during the draft. Mason. Is, oh, is Chronosphere in the oh, back. Very nice. Chronosphere plus the coil behind all this. But there's the Epi and Funnick. Got to eat most of that damage to be chased down. The follow-up on EG just wasn't there. Havos is going to try to charge us down, but Puppy eating a lot of damage. Universe is there feeling so tanky and has already used his mech. Burrow Strike PPD has Fiend Grip back up if he needs it. And yeah, he honestly may go ahead and do so. Yep, he's going to Fiend Grip Dindy behind the fight. This is going to be a full five-man wipe. Say outdraft at all. I wouldn't say they got outlanked. Yeah. They're just going to call it, my god. They, I don't they, feel like they feel there's no way to get back in this game. They're just like, all right, we screwed up. Pink's assassin. Navi now moving into the Radiant Jungle. They have a oh, chance universe. to catch Universe, and they will. Universe caught with a Vendetta Impale to follow. The easy kill. So Puppy. This is the Bane show today. Yep. Oh, hang on. Avos is trying to chase down EG. And yeah, he's very low health. There's going to be a Burrow Strike from Sai, who was hiding in the woods. Dindy trying to get a little payback. Throws the Quail and catches Arteezy, but he drops anyway. The Wolves will secure the kill on the Tinker. Now Funnick has to pull back. Has just enough mana for a Carapace. And behind that, we can actually see Puppy being engaged by the rest of EG. Will Nightmare himself and use the Brain Sap to extend things a little bit. Funnick being chased over into the side shot by Universe. And still has a Carapace, not even going to get a chance to use it. Now with a level 3 Liquid Fire, he's almost level 7. And oh. that kind of solves that problem. There's a Burrow Strike, Dindy. What? Wrong part of town to come into. Will he get away? He does manage to make it away no, just Rocket. barely. There's a the Beast Grip on the Mason. Rocket's coming in and Puppy. Eating most of that damage. There's a rock thrown out to catch a boast. Dindy still up and bottling up behind the tier one ice path on the mark as a boast is caught. Dindy being earned up back now. And Havos chased down. Bane's going to come back to ground after the storm aspect. Toss wears off. Sai's going to end up dying to Dindy in the meantime. Oh, oh nice splitters! Kuro saving Puppy. No, stolen Puppy Ooh. saved himself. <laughs> oh, he ends up dropping in the end anyway. But now charging back out, they've got Arteezy caught with the coil. And the oh. count. Let's see if they want to take this. Yep, Funnick goes undercover of Vendetta's going to look for. Yep, there is the immediate Vendetta. And the follow up as Arteezy is down again. There's a nightmare on the PPD. Dindy's right there behind. Split Earth on the mark. They're going to be able to bring him down easily. Waning Rift silences him out. But Side comes in with a big epicenter. Brings two down in response and knocked out of the Sandstorm. However, Mason has showed back up. Does not have his split. Doesn't need it though. As Dindy, big kill for them to get in return. Hiding over the side shot. It's just going to be an ice path that goes down to Boast. 
dodges it. There's going to be a nightmare on the PPD. Do they want to try to make something happen? Funix thinking about it. He's got the Yules himself. And now they're going to come in. There's going to be a Ravage. Oh, they catches two of the supports. PPD still alive. Gets off the ice path. Catches Puppy. And here comes Zai. Zai has not tried to channel the Epi yet. And the Fiend's Grip goes off as well to bring him down. So Navi defending this very effectively. Funix still alive even. Mason got the split off and unable to get a whole lot done with it. Navi defends they this. They killed his Mason, the Panda too, and he's dead. Yep. Three for or Necro 3 as well. Here we go, EG, they're really good about... Oh, oh, yep, he's gonna jump in, forces the BKB out, and the split. They're gonna try to snag this, and it is going to be taken by... Lycan got it anyway. Zai's in. Amos is in, as is Dindy. Dindy showing off the BKB, Zai is inside of there, but he's pinned in, has to throw a strike to the high ground. Puppy hexed out by Artesi. Now we're gonna have PPD tossed up, there's the Ravage. They're gonna get Hamos Aegis as soon as he got it. PPD, nope, unable to stay alive as Kuro finishes him off with the Pulse Nova, and Hamos back up enough to force them on the run. Splitter actually catches Universe down in wow. the river as he tried to run. Funnick using the carapace for staff, takes him up and he's gonna try to TP away. Doesn't matter. Nice he's on the mark. Wondering why you would skip BKB, but now I honestly don't mind it. Havos comes back out. They're going to use the drum chargers. They Yules onto Havos. Ice pass on the mark. Yep, they're going to go for it. And there's a Yules onto. Yep, now the Ravage actually caught two. Caught Funnick behind this. Havos just going to make a run for it. Can they catch him? He's on the high ground trying to, <laughs> trying to slow him down. And no! The auto attack not enough. Counter initiation out of Navi. And it's going to be Arteezy. Who? No! Here comes Zai! Huge epicenter as he manages to catch most of Navi. Dindy has to make a run for it, uses his BKB. Havos hanging around the periphery. Needs to get back to the fountain. Puppy now hemmed up and brought down. EG looked like they lost that fight two different times. He just took EG's mid center axe. There's a waiting rift that catches a bunch, and Havos is just going to go for it. Moving in, there's another burrow strike from Sai using his own BKB. And now. Tossed up, using that Yules Arteezy back up, Ice Path onto him. Arteezy should be able to chain hex him and will be able to do so. He's running so quick though, they need to just let him go and focus on the Tier 3. Universe jumps on top of him, Dindy back in, hits another big waning rip. And EG is being kited fairly effectively here. Havos going man mode, but the Ghost Sector from Sai keeps him alive. Havos takes his build, buys back immediately. Ice Path chop, and now Funix back up as is Kuro. Universe has to, has to retreat the Yules. Enough to bring down PPD, or at least buy time to bring it down, but now Arteezy caught from behind. Dindy with the waning rip, and they get him as well. I hold my thought because we might have a huge engagement right there, but I will say that there was some very... Oh, here we go. Yep. Universe coming in, gets off the anchor smash. No, he's going to be caught. Ice Path is there, and buys time for him to retrieve the PPD. He just bought back. Yep, PPD just bought back and was caught from behind with the carapace. Here Are comes they Navi. Here's Zai coming in. He's going to try to channel the Epi, and he does get it off with the Ravage. The damage... Really only taking effect on the Funic though because of the BKBs. Now Dindy chasing him all the way back to the fountain. Kuro tossed up using that Yul's puppy caught from behind. Can they bring him down? Even he feels tanky. And here we go, Zai. Kuro eating doing a so lot much of damage. damage. And yes, Kuro helping to zone them out of their own base. Zai has to buy back. Universe is still up there trying to fight. Zai back in and enough to force them back. Puppy is bought back now though. And Zai is going to be able to catch Funic with the Burrow Strike. And let's see if they have the damage to finish him off. They do. They've got him hidden in, in the trees, and down he goes. He's down for 80 seconds. Behind that, though, Havos has actually been caught by Mason, using that storm aspect to toss him into the air, and he doesn't have ulti for 20 seconds. And they should be able to bring him down. This will be a huge deal, because he bought back. He will not be able to buy back again. Still chasing after him. The damage is slow in the coming. He is sedan tanky. He has a hard up. With that Assault Curse, now he's going to BKB and is basically just left to his own. He's trying to loose him in the vision. He has ult up in one second. He has ult up in one the second. Benny Hill music. There's the ulti. Can they no catch way. him? No way! Oh, he uses the wall. <laughs> Can they get the blink off? No! He's going to be able to scurry to save Oh, no. Here comes no, RTZ. No! RTZ in from the side. Size there misses with the Burrow Strike. Rockets from the low ground. He loops back around. And finally dropping the Necrofoke with the Gush from Universe. The Yules with the Panda Yules. 
And, and Havostas ran in. All right, I'm going to kill me some pandas. And, uh, <laughs> and hang on. Finding mid as PPE got hit with a nightmare. Now Yule's in the air. Kuro has the BKB up doing good damage. Arteezy, though, with side both have theirs available as well. Kuro does not have much to know. His time has already expired on his BKB. It's on cooldown. He's brought down by Arteezy. No buyback for him. And let's see, can Mason finish this off? Still trying to pursue out Puppy. Hits him in the back of the head with the rock. He'll be picked off from behind. And Dindy jawing across. Mason, though, continuing to chase. Funnick doing what he can. It's a two-man impale, but the follow-up just isn't there. Only the Knicks and the Puck are still standing. Dindy doing what he can. But mostly all he can do is hex and jawing around. Funnick now locked down in the macro pyre. There's the Yules in the middle of it. Dindy doing everything he can to keep his teammate alive. There's another carapace out from him. And shooting the impel misses Zai that time. Dindy engaging onto him, but doesn't have anywhere near the damage to hope to bring him down. We're going to have Havos back up in five seconds. They're going right for the Ancient. The racks are still standing. There's going to be the Glyph. And let's see if they're going to try to just stand here and go for it. There's another Yules as the Pandas top in the air. Havos uses his BKB and his ulti. Chasing him down. Zai trying to mech. There's going to be an ice path to cut a couple. Zai with another follow up. And now the epicenter's on the way. BKB's already up on Kuro, though. Havos eating most of that damage. But we see one drop that Zai. Dindy with his own BKB activated. He and Kuro doing what they can. Kuro ends up taking a spill. Dindy got hexed and he's brought down. Only Havos is still standing. Now they're going to turn to the Ancient. Havos caught with Yules once again. Mason reassembles. He's going to come back to ground, but I don't know what he can do. He's going to be Jane Hex. There's the ice path to follow. Mana pool's getting a little bit low, but not low enough. And Arteezy just continuing to hex him out and hit the laser. The Ancient is down. Havos Yules one last time, and they go for the Ancient. <laughs> down it goes. Pure out-and-out -out madness here in game two. Clockwork. In the jungle as five. They are looking to make something happen. They're going to run right on side. There's going to be the Doom right off the bat. Stampede might be enough to maybe... Yep, there's the pipe from Mason. This I run. He's going to make it. No, there's going to be a black hole behind that. He does manage to catch Universe. Big ulties chained as Na'Vi cleans up two. Jim is down off of that as well. And they're going to be happy to take that. And no, Universe able to snag out a vote. Here comes Dindy back in. Universe is stunned by the Carapace, but Arteezy has the Aegis popped away. Mason hanging out. Now he's gonna be caught. There's the follow up with the Impale. Pipe has been deployed by Na'Vi. And they're gonna get Mason for free as well as he tried to head high ground. Seems like that would be a stat to be better known. Hang on. Na'Vi looping through. Almost found the career. Now it's gonna be BKB. There's gonna be a last one. That's a BKB quap. EG going to work on Diddy to get him down behind that. And Mason came in with a stomp as well. Now Havos is caught out as is Funnick. Puppy does not have Black Hole at his, at his disposal. They just have to try to run for it. Side Traps are on the mark, and that big right-click potential out of Arteezy coming into play as they wipe for a triple kill for Arteezy. And they're not done. Funnick is actually tracked down. That's a five-man wipe. 15,000. No, 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 not that much. But a 12,000 experience. There we go. Stampede going to be using it to go in, get the stop off. Got two. Pipe was deployed before that, though. There's the lasso that's going to grab Puppy. He has Black Hole ready if he wants to use it and can use it. Gets down the Midnight Pulse. And yeah, this is a little bit of an overextension from EG. But there's the Black Hole to turn it around onto Mason. In the meantime, the fight has played itself out elsewhere behind. Mason does make it away. Sonic Wave barely catches him. And Dindy's there to help clean up the kill. Havost caught inside. Oh, doing but Arteezy it. is just going berserk. And Havost trying to go one-on-one -on -one with him. Dindy trying to do what damage he can as well. That Aegis is still up. And yeah, one more. Not enough. As the last auto attack, hang on, oh, hang Zai on, hang on, no, he got him! Oh, Zai! And trying to make something happen, EG is hovering around the Roche pit, they've got Arteezy in there, this is an opportunity for them, there's the Doom on the PPD, he has to run, coming in behind that, there we go, they're gonna lasso out Funnick, Funnick brought back, didn't he use the ulti, onto Zai, and Universe drags Funnick back into the pit. Zai still gets to get the cogs down, nonetheless, the fight really spread out, but Arteezy now going to work, Mantis out of that, and Havos now being pursued out as well. They managed to get Puppy. I honestly didn't see how they got him. Funnick in trouble. He's going to be cleaned up with a flame break. And Havos is next to drop. And that is a huge loss. Top picker just not being able to maneuver around EG. I don't know. Could be both. Here we go with the counter punch. There we go. Actually, they used the pipe. And Mason turned like he wanted to fight. Just heard a call come in. Or excuse me, a hook. And yeah, there's a black oh, hole. No. But stutter step again. And Bindi. Whoa. Oh, so close. 
side, just behind him. Look at this. Oh, wow. Ghost after safety for sure. He might have one-shotted him there if it wasn't for that. More snapping away. Yep, he would have one-shotted him. Now, Funic using Carapace with the BKB on Arteezy. This lets him chase and attack with impunity. And this may be the beginning of the end. Navi. Just losing so much in the last couple of minutes. To catch up with Zai, though, he's going to BKB drop the cogs. Universe is there. Look at the damage. Oh, out. man. Dindy down again. And he's caught by Funny, but it doesn't matter. Zai's there using that BKB. Did get the Doom off on him, but Havos is going to be down again. That's a godlike streak now onto Arteezy. Funnick trying to finish him off from behind. I think that's denied. Denied. And now Dindy killed again. There's going to be the Stampede. Funnick being pursued out and hooks off the mark from Zai. One of the only, if not the GG. only, GG. So a game that seemed like it had the potential to be close was for a while, but suddenly getting out of control as EG whitewashes Navi.